live from Joe Nathan Field here on 90.1 FM WUSB. We got, we got baseball coming up on the North Shore of Long Island for this midweek contest. For the first time ever, we'll see these two teams play each other. It's the 5-9 and nine Stony Brook Seawolves taking on the 6-8 and eight Merrimack Warriors. And now here comes a really dangerous hitter now for Merrimack, and that is Nick Shumsky. And if you look at that batting average, 456, 26 hits in 57 ABs on the season. He's the lead. He's the team leader with 11 RBIs. He'll swing and he'll drive in Poraselli on a single to left field. Staying at second is Galankowitz. It's one nothing Merrimack here in the first. Infield on the outfield grass. The payoff pitch, 3-2, and a swing and a miss. Morrissey, his first strikeout of the day, comes on Wyatt Voella. So Amadon looking to start off the game with a strikeout, the 2-2. And swing and a miss, down goes Giordano. Amadon getting ready to deliver, 2-2 to Decker. Decker swings and misses, down on strikes, swinging. So now the 3-1 from Morrissey. Takes his time, the livers, here's the pitch. Curveball, this is hit to left field. Yalin will retrieve it. Will he go sack fly? Yep. And it will be a set, wait, wait a minute. Oh, a slow bounce to home and scoring on the play there was Del Bashian, and it's a sacrifice fly for Joey Paraselli. And, and uh, two, scored a run too, so. Two he's... nothing Merrimack. The pitch, one, one, this is hit to center field. This is gonna drop in front of Montez. Coming home is Jamelli, and out at second, he is. So do you wave off the run? You do. So a great throw by Montez to second, and that saves another run for Morrissey. Waiting for Amadon, the 3-2. Swing and a miss is Montez, and that will end the inning. He's faced 19 batters, this being the 20th. 3-2, and this one's going to be a ground ball to first throw. Back to short end. It's overthrown. So the Seawolves will get a run out of the deal okay. as Yellon comes in to score. 0-1 on the way. And this one, a flare into left center field. It's going to drop for a base hit and bounce toward the wall. Two runs will score, and Hipsley with a big two-run double puts the Seawolves ahead 3-2. You said it, Matt. Brad Hipsley coming in clutch there. His seventh RBI of the year to Haber, the freshman. The pitch. Got him looking inside. Haber ready to walk to first. Second strikeout of the day in relief for the senior, Adam Erickson. Two away. Part of the infield and just wait for it to come to him. So 1-1 one, one to Paulson. Paulson, this will be right to second base. Haber to Chumsky and trying to get the stretch is... Joyce, and this will score Giordano to make it 4-2 Stony Brook. Seeing what happens here, the 1-2. Here's the pitch. Hipsley, swing and a miss. Down goes Brad Hipsley. And two away here from Merrimack. On deck, looking to avoid the golden sombrero, Johnny Decker. Here's the pitch. And a liner, what a catch made by Dobashi in the third. That ends the inning. So now 2-2. Foster to the bashy in the pitch inside and got him whiffing on a slider on his ankles. Nice pitch there by Foster. One away here to start the ninth. Porcelli. Foster looks back at first. Porcelli right to third in field. Here is Giordano to Hamilton, and that will do it. Seavels pick up their sixth win of the season and defeat the Merrimack Warriors 4-2, to two, and for Matt Sink, his 840th career victory. So we're going to say goodbye here from Joe Nathan Field. The Seawolves beat the Merrimack Warriors 4-2. to two. I'm Jim Virtual alongside Matt Manquish. Thank you to Zach Wilson, our broadcast engineer. You're listening to the longtime home of Stony Brook Seawolves Athletics on 90.1 FM WUSB. So long and farewell from Joe Nathan Field. <laughs>